Solid problems can be caused by a variety of health conditions, which includes throat infections or infective conditions. It could be caused by any neurological conditions like stroke, um, any motor neuron disease. Um, it can also be caused by some sinister pathology like cancers, throat cancer. So it's very, very essential for you to get it checked as soon as possible. Uh, swollen problems can be age related too, or it can be like conditions like pharyngeal pouch, where there is a pouch at the back of the throat. So these are the conditions that can cause swollen problems. Swallow disorders can affect uh, any age group. It's usually more common in elderly people. Um, it can also, it's very commonly affects people with neurological disorders, like people having stroke or some kind of neurologic condition like motor neuron disease, cerebral palsy, etc. cetera. Uh, it can also be seen in cases with uh, with cancers, uh, so throat cancer, esophageal cancer, so it's, it's uh, very important to get it checked as soon as possible because early detection and management, uh, if there is such a pathology, uh, massively makes a big difference to the outcome. So the main symptoms which a person can have who are having swallowing problems is uh, in difficulty in swallowing. Uh, it could be either limited to liquids only, or it could be both to liquids and solid. It could be gradually progressive and maybe associated with painful swallowing, fever. Um, there could be other symptoms uh, which might raise alarm bells, such as lumps in the necks, uh, loss of weight uh, with inability to eat adequate nutrition. Um, so these are usually the symptoms. If there is some kind of obstruction in the food pipe, uh, that means the food can often be aspirated, can go down the wrong way in the lungs, causing chest infection. This is also seen in a condition called pharyngeal pouch, where there is a out pouching from the, from the food pipe. And the food collects there and regurgitates, so come back and go down the wrong way. So chest infection, it can cause weight loss, lack of nutrition, um, so, uh, cachexia, so these are the sort of problem, anemia. So treatment and management of swallowing disorders uh, is, uh, is basically it starts with finding out what is causing swallowing problems, whether it's neurological condition, whether there is a anatomical uh, problem like a pharyngeal pouch, whether there is a sinister pathology, like a laryngeal cancer or esophageal cancers, or whether it's age-related uh, with the weakness of swallowing muscles. Uh, so first of all is diagnosis, uh, which might, uh, which includes basically a thorough clinical examination, including a, a nasal endoscopic examination where we put a camera in patient's throat uh, to visualize the voice box directly to make sure there's nothing there, um, which might require scanning, a barium swallow, uh, it might require a upper GI endoscopy. And once we have ascertained the cause, then the treatment is done appropriately. Uh, 